If you're in your 20s or 30s and you want to win in tech, six-figure salaries, remote work, real work-life balance, even building your own startup, I'm going to be blunt. There's one skill that gives you the highest chance of breaking in, staying in and actually winning long term. And it's not prompt engineering. It's not learn AI in a weekend and it's not being a thought leader on LinkedIn. The real skill is this, taking an idea and turning it into a full application from zero to deployed on your own, end to end. If you can do that, you become valuable fast, even as a junior. If you can't, you stay dependent. This entire video is about becoming the kind of person who builds things that work, things that ship, things people actually use, even with AI and even with layoffs, even with all the fear online. This is the game you must play if you want to thrive today. I've used one strategy to win over and over in life, business and tech. It's the same strategy that scaled startups to millions. It's the same strategy that turned a broke 30 year old into a senior developer in under three years. It recently helped my mentee Raphael land a senior developer role making over 200K USD. And the strategy is simple. Do more of the right things than anyone else is willing to do. The right things are not tutorials, not certificates, not memorizing syntax, not grinding leak code for months. The right things are write more code, ship more projects, debug more problems, show your work to more people, apply to more jobs. Sorry if you came here for some shortcut. This video is not that. People get obsessed with magical roadmaps for 2026. They ask me, Phil, what's the perfect roadmap to get a developer job? Wrong question. The real question is, why aren't you doing more of what already works? Coding, shipping. You don't need another course. You don't need to switch stacks again. You need volume because volume is where breakthroughs live. Eventually, you'll hit that moment. I can't do more. I'm too tired. I don't have time. And that moment, the exact moment you want to quit is when the light bulb turns on. That's when your GitHub stops being a graveyard and starts becoming a resume that makes someone want to hire you. Quantity has a quality of all of its own. Fix one bug, annoying. Fix a hundred, patterns appear. Fix a thousand, you start thinking like a senior. A student who only follows assignments is playing a different game from the student who built five deployed apps. Onboard users, broke them, fixed them, and repeated it 10 times. Age doesn't matter. Yes, CS students are more hireable, but how did my 45-year-old mentee get to his third round of interviews at a cloud engineering firm? How is he building products and starting his own business? He did it all in under a year. So a 30-year-old career changer has zero excuses. With six to eight deployed projects in one stack, you are more hireable than someone learning on and off. Code more, debug faster, build instincts, and suddenly you attract lucky breaks. Recruiter DMs, referrals, and messages that begin with, hey, I saw your app. From the outside, it looks like talent, but it's just reps, nothing else. Here's why I care, because I screwed up worse than almost anyone watching this. My 20s were wasted, not because I was lazy, I was ambitious, just in the wrong directions. Girls, drugs, rock and roll lifestyle, and yeah, I made money dealing drugs. I burned years, burned relationships, burned opportunities. I built a life with no future. Then almost a decade later, I picked up a brochure for a boot camp, sold my car and went all in on programming because I knew if I didn't change everything, nothing would change. This video is for people who think they're too old, too late or too far gone. You're wrong. You can change your path today. My name is Phil. I wrote my first line of code at 30. Five years later, I was a senior developer, a tech lead, making six figures every year since. But the climb was brutal. I tried every stack, every course, every secret hack. Nothing worked until I did one thing. I picked one stack, Vue.js, went all in. I built one full-scale application from start to finish. That one project got me my first job. The focus and skill from that project got me promoted changed my life and that's the pattern I'm trying to show you now. When the ground shifts, 
The people who commit, focus, and build, they're the ones who win. Inside my community, we don't ask, how do I become top 1% with the least effort? We ask, how can we build and ship more? Because top 1% outcomes require top 1% consistency. Imagine a room of 100 junior developers. Who wins? The binge watcher or the one with the most finished deployed applications? Copy and paste developers don't win. If you want to be exceptional, you cannot live a normal life. You can't spend weekends gaming, nights on Netflix, hours on TikTok, then complain about AI when you haven't pushed to get up in weeks. Exceptional doesn't mean genius. It means different. Different enough that people won't get it. They'll say you're overdoing it. Tech is dead. AI will take your job. Relax. You get to choose. Become like them or become the exception. If you want the secret to getting a dev job today, get better at coding and never stop long enough to lose momentum, solve harder problems, move past tutorials, read documentation, and write clean code that works everywhere. Take asymmetric bets, do difficult things with blind courage. Stop waiting to feel ready. You get ready by doing the job before you're ready. Go all in. Risk losing. Because those losses are how you win big. You only lose when you stop. Momentum is everything. Miss a day? Fine. Miss a month? You're done. Most people quit when the work gets hard. If you simply refuse to quit and keep coding, keep shipping, keep applying, you outlast 80 to 90% without needing to be better. Bugs aren't failure, they're reps. Every bug you fix builds muscle. Fast forward a few months, you've learned JavaScript, React, maybe some Node. You've failed a lot, but now you're getting wins. Apply for roles you feel underqualified for. Worst case, you stay where you are. Best case, you learn what to fix next. Raphael did exactly that. Built more, applied more, reached out to hiring managers directly. Soon, he was passing first, second, third rounds. Multiple six-figure offers. That's how it works. Fail. Fix. Try again. Repeat. AI won't replace people who can build systems end-to-end. -end. Front end, back end, database, cloud, auth, payments. If you can do that, AI becomes your junior assistant. If you can't, AI becomes a copy machine for code you don't understand. That's not a career. The competition is brutal for people with no portfolio, but tiny for people with a handful of real apps they can explain line by line. Stack copying feels productive, but most of the time it's just escape. Real growth lives in repetition, not novelty. There are optimizers and maximizers. Optimizers ask what's the easiest way Maximizers ask how much skill can I build in 12 to 18 months? Maximizers win, but even they fall in traps. Stack switching, constant tweaking, never finishing. You have limited time and limited focus. Use them wisely. Pick the job you want, reverse engineer the skills, then build towards that. That's the roadmap. The wildest part, you get better by staying put. Same stack, same reps, more speed, better instincts, sharper intuition. Boring months lead to real skill. When choosing what to learn next, ask, will this increase my chance of getting hired by 20% or more? Most things won't. Building more and applying more always will. The core four, solve problems, build apps, show your work, apply widely. If you do more of those four than everyone else, you win. If others code five hours a week and ship three tiny projects, and you code 15 to 20 hours and ship eight to 10 real apps, you eliminate your competition before the interview even begins. Anyone can do this at any age. And here's the truth. If you multiplied the right actions by 10, by 50, by 100, you wouldn't fear AI, the job market, or your age. You'd be too busy getting good. If you don't want to do this alone, check the link below. Real mentors, real guidance, and a real plan. Surround yourself with people who build more, ship more, and think bigger. Coding is still the way. End to end, building is still the game. You are not too late. You're just too early to quit. 
And here's the truth. You can't keep saying you'll start next month. That moment never comes. The only time that matters is now. So start coding today. Even messy, even confused, and you've already beaten the version of you that keeps waiting. A year from now, others will still be talking. You'll be building. So here's your challenge. Stop watching, start building, and comment below. I am starting today. And here's what I will achieve in 2026. When you lose momentum, come back to that comment. You already started. Now the only job left is not quitting. And if I can do it, you can do it too. Coding saves lives.